guys, Brian here from Liquid Concept. So today we've got uh, something pretty cool in here. We've actually got the nose cone of an airplane. So uh, of course the customer, um, they want it in the carbon fiber just to give their plane a totally different look. Um, so of course what we're gonna do, we're gonna do it in carbon fiber. Uh, we've already got this prepped out. We've already got it base coated. We've already got it ready to go. So uh, a couple of things to look at. So of course we've got this cone shaped area all the way around right through here. And so the biggest thing is there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Of course, number one, you could go straight down just like that. Um, I do not recommend that. The stretch around this right here would be horrendous. So don't start with that one right there. Uh, number two, you could roll it. Um, if you roll it and you put it down in the water and then it just constantly rolled around, um, all in all, it'd be pretty good, but uh, right in here, right up on top, you'd have your uh, carbon, whenever it was coming up, it would be off and it would start to turn all the way around like that. So it'd be a kind of a weird like turn and then you'd have to either black it out or leave it like that. So um, we're gonna opt to actually do this in two dips. And so um, inevitably, if this was made from the factory, this would probably be done in three or four different patterns or seams, uh, possibly even more, uh, but definitely it would not be done in one. Um, they would have to do it in sections like that, so you would have seams coming all the way down just like that right there. So um, in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, and we've got one edge right here where the propeller is, and then we also have one edge right here where the propeller is. And so what we're gonna end up doing is we're actually going to come up and then back down where that way the lines come right up into these sides of where the propeller is right here and right there. And so that way we can dip one half of it and then the carbon will be rolling like that. The other side will dip the other half and then that way um, it'll all look really good. Now, granted there will be a line going down right through here. The carbon will probably not match up 100%. It'll be close, but not 100%. Um, but the biggest thing is, is that it's all carbon fiber. So whenever it's sitting there like this, like that, however, it's all done and we get the least amount of stretch all the way around it, which is exactly what we want. So let's go ahead, let's get this taped off. We'll dip half of it and then of course turn around, dip the other half and we'll show you guys the end result. So let's get started. So we got half of it taped off. Now again, what I did was, is on this one side over here, I did go ahead and tape up all of this right here. So then that way, as it came down, it pretty much stopped right here. But whenever it was right here, it came down, it stopped on the propeller right where it was at. But this print, it's gonna go all the way around to this side. And then of course, whenever we do the next dip, it will come down into here, go all the way around, and then of course do the exact same thing just on the other side. So for now that we've got this all taped up, let's go ahead, let's lay out the film, get it on the water, and get this first dip over with. the first part of it dipped and then of course we've got our line that we've got taped up all the way around right through here so of course now we're ready to go ahead and we've already got our film cut to go ahead and lay down for the other side now again we've already rinsed this off dried it off and then of course taped it all back up on the dip side and we've left about a 16th to an eighth of an inch all the way around so then that way the dips can overlap onto themselves and then they will make sure that they overlap so then everything looks a lot better. So let's go ahead, let's get this in the water, get it dipped and show you guys the end result. So here we go.
now that we've got all of this all ready to go, we'll go ahead and rinse it, get it rinsed off, dry it off, pull the tape off, and then of course clear coat it, and then show you guys the end result. So let's get started. All right, so we've got everything all cleared and it came out looking amazing. So of course the clear looks really good, beautiful shine to it, really nice and smooth all the way around. And of course, as I was saying before, we actually did get really close on this line right through here. Um, but inevitably, as I was saying before, we're never going to be exactly perfect. So of course the other side back over here, it doesn't match up 100% but inevitably even if we were doing this with a real carbon fiber the lines would probably not match up because of the way that it is coned just like this and of course it's the way that it's shaped it's just not going to line up 100 percent but i think overall this definitely came out looking really good and the customer is definitely going to love it so uh, if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them below we'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related as well as let me know how you think the nose piece turned out if you would have done anything differently or let me know your thoughts on it and we'd love to hear from you on any of that also, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks on anything hydrographics related. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.